And now from hockey in the athlete category, Robert Butch Goring. Butch Goring grew up playing hockey at Winnipeg's area community clubs, Glenwood, Glenlea, and Winnequa. His dad, Bob, still recalls the day he got that strange-looking Snaps helmet in 1961. The thing was so comfortable, Butch never took it off until he retired in 1985. Before being drafted by the Kings in 1969, Butch Goring spent his 16th year with the junior Winnipeg Rangers. The following season with Canada's national team and his draft year with the Junior Jets and the Dauphin Kings. Butch Goring was a relentless hockey player, a hound on skates. He was a player of no fancy style, except that endless hard work was his own style. Butch wasn't a particularly gifted scorer, but like most forwards who made it through 16 NHL seasons, he got his share. His 1,107 NHL games netted him 375 goals and 888 points. And for all his aggressive attributes, Goring was an amazing straight-on, no-nonsense player. He recorded only 102 penalty minutes in his NHL career. With the Los Angeles Kings in 1978, he became the only player ever to win the Lady Bing and the Masterson trophies in the same year. Stats, however, were not what Goring was all about, except for the most important stat of all, Stanley Cups. Many say to this day that he was the straw that stirred the New York Islanders drink in just the right way when he was acquired from the Kings for Bill Harris and Dave Lewis in the spring of 1980. That trade is still held up as the model for clubs looking to swing a last minute deal for their run at hockey's biggest prize. The Islanders dynasty started that year and by the time it ended, Goring had four cup rings, proving that it wasn't always pure skill that was deemed invaluable he was also named the Conn Smythe winner in 1981, the year the Isles were defeated only three times en route to the Cup. In those glory years, Butch Goring certainly proved he could do it all, scoring 28 goals and 68 points in 99 playoff games with the Islanders. Totals that included power play and shorthanded goals, as well as five playoff game winners. When his pro career, which also included a Calder Cup title with the AHL's Springfield Kings in 1971 was finished, Goring coached the Boston Bruins for the 1985-86 season and part of the 86-87 season, posting a record of 42, 38, and 13. Today, Butch is in his third season behind the bench of the AHL's Capital District Islanders in Troy, New York. Butch Goring, now a member of the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame.